think we're going to finish the chapter two, and then tomorrow uh, uh, we do chapter three, and then next week uh, we will do the chapter five. We will skip chapter four. Uh, be, we'll do chapter four after the, the test, uh, okay? Uh, so chapter four will not be included in the, uh, the test, okay? Now, so what we're going to do today, we just finish up chapter two, uh, and, and take a look at some of the, the D2L questions, uh, okay? Uh, now, so, I, last, last time we went through the programming chart, uh, and some of the questions about the programming chart too, okay? Now, let's say we take a look at objective number three, uh, is combustion safety control, okay? Um, this is a, a list in there, low combustion air pressure, fuel cut off, uh, and then uh, low fire and uh, high purchase with all this, uh, okay, now. Okay, so the first one we want to take a look at uh, is the low combustion air uh, fuel cut off. Uh. Now, there are two types of this this thing. Uh, now, uh, today I don't know what happened. Uh, my screen is jumping all over the place. Uh. Okay, now, so one of them uh, is for the uh, the air proofing switch uh, for the starting. Uh. Now, another one. Uh, on some of the bigger boiler, they also have these types of switch, uh, uh, wire connected to the furnace. Uh, so if the, the furnace pressure is not right, uh, it will also trip your boiler too. Boiler too uh, but the small boiler does not have it. Uh, it's the same type of switch, okay? So we do have one of these in, uh, in our boiler, okay? But uh, it is not, uh, the outside does not look the same. Uh, so ours is much more simpler. Uh, Okay, now, so the low air com low combustion air pressure fuel cut off is it is uh, a defensive pressure switch. Uh, now, in the middle there, probably in here, you have a piece of rubber diaphragm, really really sensitive, and you connect the air pressure. You see that the there's a tube come go in here, and a tube come in here. You put one tube inside the wind box. Uh, just like uh, right after the fan, uh, another one, uh, just outside the powerhouse, and you compare the pressure between the wind box and the uh, outside of the room. Uh, if a little bit different, uh, so that means that some air is moving in. Uh, so, and then uh, uh, in this case, uh, um, this side probably you not know, the inside the wind box. Uh, uh, if this one, when the air moving, uh, the pressure inside a little bit lower and pull this in, uh, and the contact, the con contact in here will close, uh, it close, and then allow uh, uh, your fuel to, uh, well, actually, it's just a few, uh, allow you to go on the next step. Uh, so this is one of the, the relay, uh, uh, just allow you to go on in the program. Okay. Now, the low fire stock switch, uh, uh, now the pilot uh, had to be ignited on low fire. Okay. Now, so it just imagine, you know, if on a, a windy day, yeah, uh, on a really windy day, you try to start a barbecue outside. Yeah? So once you start it up, you know the wind that will blow you off, eh? blow your film off. So it's the same situation in here. So that means you, know, you have after the uh, uh, after the uh, the high purge, uh, you had to make it go back to the low purge uh, and make sure it start on the low fire situation. Uh, okay. Now, so in this case in here, um, your your firing way uh, is control module relator. Uh, so in the, you can put in uh, some type of contact switch at the end. Uh, you no, know, when when the now, in our case, uh, it's the half moon, uh, the half moon in front of the keeper hook boiler. Uh, when you're on a high purge, uh, it travel open up all the way. Uh, uh, and then when it travel, it go like that. So some of the boiler, they put in a, a physical uh, mechanical switch in that position uh, before the boiler can start. Uh. But then much easier way, uh, it just ask a programmer to just put everything back to the, the, the low five position before you start, uh, okay? Now, we don't have it, uh, um, but the, the bigger uh, boiler, because for safety's sake, uh, 
he can afford to put another this switch in here. Okay. Now, so this one uh, is just a, a physical switch. Uh, when uh, when the damper travel uh, on low five position, allow you to start the boiler. Okay. For hours, uh, it's just uh, the program, uh, programmable uh, uh, controller. Uh, program in, uh, and we start on the low five and so on. Now the high airflow purge switch, uh, uh, so, so the, on the chart there, we said a lot after the, the air proofing switch is closed, uh, and then we go into the high purge, uh, go into the high purge for 30 seconds. Uh, but this switch uh, is proof you have the high purge. There is enough air go through the, the furnace. Uh. Now there is there are a couple of ways, a few ways to do it. Uh. Now, so one way uh, is the damper end switch. Uh, the end switch is a mechanical switch sticking out. Uh, so when the damper travel a certain way, uh, when it's wide open uh, and that switch will, uh, will touch uh, uh, a switch, uh, make it close. Uh, uh, this one is a, a physical mechanical switch, which go and make kill. Uh. Now, another one to do it. Uh, is um, the variable uh, frequency dry at uh, the VFD uh, uh, the dry. You want, you want to make sure the VFD uh, is on, on the minimum way forward before you do it. Uh, okay. Now, these two uh, are not very reliable. Uh. So number three, uh, the air color of the airflow switch. Uh, now, this one is more reliable uh, because no, uh, you check the airflow way, uh, if it's higher than what you want, uh, you go on. So that is the best way to do it. Uh. Okay. Now the reason uh, for the, the first one, uh, the combustion air damper, uh, the limit switch is just at the end. Uh, okay. When the physical switch touch uh, and go, uh, and then the variable frequency dry, uh, you had to sense uh, uh, it had to be over 60%. Uh, so I gray out this uh, at the end there. I don't think it's right. Uh, the, uh, I get it from the book, but those are not right. Uh. Now, the variable frequency dry is you supply the, the electricity frequency to the motor. Uh, if you supply 60 hertz, uh, the motor will go 100%. Uh. Now, the problem with this one is they are not linear. Uh, so 30 hertz does not give you 30%. Uh, of, of the speed. Uh. So it's not linear. It could be, you know, 50%, uh, uh, it give you 30%, 55% uh, give you 60, something like that. So each dry a little bit different. Uh. So, um, so just remember the VFD uh, is not linear proportion. Uh, okay. 60 hertz, 36%, uh, it might not, uh, 36 hertz may not give you 60%. Uh, that's one thing. So. Uh, for the variable dry, eh? so they have the, the contact. So they had to have um, the, the frequency eh? at the way over uh, 60%. Eh? So let me know you have a program in. Eh? What is 60% of the air flow? Eh? Something like that. Eh? Okay. 60% of the, the air flow, that's what we're aiming at. Eh? Okay. Now, again, eh? the VFD, eh? variable frequency dry, eh? if you give 60 hertz, the motor will turn it on 100% of the speed, uh, but it's not linear. So we require 60% of the airflow. Uh, you might end up with uh, 45 hertz or something like that. Each one is different. Uh. Okay, now, um, but the problem uh, for the, these two, uh, uh, they're not reliable uh, because uh, you, the first two, they only check the motor uh, and the damper. But what happened you now? If you your fan between your fan and the motor, there's something wrong. Uh, now let's see if you have bell dry. Uh, if the bell is broken, uh, the motor is turning. Doesn't mean anything. Uh, the fan is not moving. You can no air, right? If the coupling between the motor and the fan is broken, uh, the motor is running hundred percent. There's no use because no, the fan is hooked up. Uh, so that is the, the not very really good. Uh, so um, in this case, uh, you need a uh, uh, the check the air flow uh, is a bad, best bet to check the air flow, uh, so you need an air proofing switch. Uh, okay. So you need air proofing switch uh, before you go. Uh. Now, 
Uh, this is the air, the picture of the uh, the air proofing switch. Uh, I think a lot of these things. Uh, this way really really simple. Come with there. Uh, it, it pretty much the same idea as the one we 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 seen a, a couple of slides ago. Uh, it is a, a diaphragm. One side. Uh, this one. Uh, I don't know which one hooked to what, but one side is hooked up to the the wind box. One side is hooked up to the outside of the room. Uh, so if there's any pressure there and the relay will close, uh, there's a perch airflow switch. Uh, so ours is a little bit uh, smaller, not as uh, sophisticated than this one, uh, but we do have one or this thing in there. Okay. Uh, now, combustion air supply and burner interlock. Uh, um, CSA 149, uh, um, they, they won't make sure you, you have enough air to burn. Uh. Now, the, the combustion on process is you put the air go in uh, and you put the fuel in there and then you mix up turbulence and burn. Uh. But the requirement is you have the air. Uh. Where you get the air? Now, let's say, you know, uh, in the summertime, uh, you open the bay door, uh, you open the window, uh, uh, lots of air come in. Uh. But the problem is uh, during the winter time, uh, every door is cold, cold uh, you get no air going in there. You burn all the air, you may uh, take all the air in, in the create vacuum in the room. Uh. So on the cold book, uh, they require you uh, to put in an opening uh, on your room uh, for the just for the air, combustion air for the, the your your boiler. Uh. Now for hours uh, is on the corner near the brick car, uh, you know, the brick, when you go in the room until you turn left, uh, while you're the corner there, there's a big opening, uh, lots of louver there, uh, and outside is a piece of screen, okay? Now, the size of that, that opening, uh, is geared to your boiler air requirement. So, the B149.1, there's a table, there's a so big a boiler, you need so much uh, uh, mm, uh, just a, a square meter of, uh, Opening. Uh. Now there's also some requirement too. Uh. You most of them they have a piece of screen in there, right? If the screen uh, is too fine, uh, lots of dirt will pack it up, uh, and then will defeat the purpose, right? So the code book said that uh, the 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 mass size of the screen uh, cannot be uh, smaller than six mm a quarter inch, uh, so that you know the the leap uh, and the snow will not pack it up. Uh. Okay. Now and there's another requirement is. You want to raise up the opening of 300 mm above way. Uh, so in the winter time, if you have a big pile of snow there, you might pack it inside, uh, and pack the opening, and then you don't have air going for the burner to burn. Uh. Uh, I would say, you know, in Ontario, you know, probably not really bad. Uh, but up north, uh, uh, they're freezing, you know, minus 20 all the time. Uh, every time I start the boiler, I have to go out there and make sure. Uh, the snow doesn't pack up my opening on this. Okay? So the combustion LOL opening is a requirement uh, on the cold book. Now the ventilation air, uh, does it, uh, the, the requirement is the uh, ventilation air, you have to take some air out of my room, equal to 10% uh, of the, the combustion air, air opening uh, and bigger than uh, 65, 6,500 uh, square millimeter. So the two, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> two down here. Okay. Now, uh, some of the other requirement uh, is uh, protect uh, your equipment from freezing. Uh, okay. Now, air, water, and oil line must be protected from freezing because um, you see air, 100% pure air. There's no moisture there. You cannot freeze the air. But the problem is that you always have uh, moisture in the air, in not 100% dry, uh, it will freeze and pack up your air line. Uh. And the same on the oil line too, uh, the oil, uh, sometimes you know, they have a little moisture in there, a little bit, uh, no, so, and they will freeze up. Uh. Okay, now, so the air supply interlock uh, is, some of the, the boiler room, the pickup oil room, uh, so they use so much, <coughs> so much air to burn. Uh, so an uh, opening uh, is not, is not enough to suck the air in. Uh, you actually have to use a fan to bowl the air into the room to burn. Uh, so 
uh, in this big boy room, uh, they have a HVAC unit, uh, the air handler unit, just supply air in there. Uh, in there. So um, if this, this HVAC unit fail, uh, that's interlock. Uh, we cannot start uh, if the unit uh, is fail. Uh, okay. Now, many air uh, damper uh, must not install an uh, air opening. Uh, now, uh, so you take a look of the air opening there. Uh, or, or the connection. Uh, I hope we come back. Uh, okay, we come back. So I, I lost the connection uh, for a few seconds. Uh, okay. Now, so you, you look at the air damper there, uh, they have a nomadic control there, uh, nomadic control. Okay. okay. Now, now, so the damper must be automatic control. Uh, if the boiler at all, but therefore will close. Uh, if, the, if the damper is, if your boiler is on, uh, your damper has be 100% open. Uh, so they put the end switch in there uh, on the damper, the mechanism. Uh, when the damper is open, uh, the switch will kick uh, and then allow you to, to start. Uh, okay. So uh, in this case, uh, the, if you have an HVAC unit uh, to supply air, uh, if the AC is not on, the air held the unit on, uh, you cannot start the boiler. Okay. Now let's go to the object number four. Uh, is the burner management program. Now, the definition of burning, burner management program, are there two in, in Patton Park. Eh? <clears throat> now, one is the say starting and shut down. Eh? That's, that's one door, okay? Say starting and shut down and the, the boiler. Another one eh, is the um, monitoring, eh? prevent uh, the misoperation. Eh? So that means there's monitoring. Uh, if your boiler have lower lower situation, shut it off. Uh, so that is the the B, boiler management system uh, uh, the the, uh, uh, the the duty. Yeah. Uh, okay. So one is start and stop. Another one morning time. Why only one thing? Uh, so that is the definition of this. Uh. Now in the old days, uh, lots of pro <coughs> the program, uh, they have uh, one small thing program uh, to start the boiler. Uh, Another one to monitor the operation. Eh? So because the, op the computer is so cheap these days, eh? they can afford a small, every boiler can afford a small uh, a monitor of uh, the computer. computer eh? <coughs> okay, so uh, the, the, the principle or purpose eh, is to um, prevent the boiler from starting. If something wrong, it cannot start. Eh? Okay, so the other way to say it is, eh, it, it's just like the, the BMS uh, will assist the operator to safely start the, the boiler, okay? Now, and protect and say operation, uh, so if anything hap happen, low water situation, you cut it off, uh, protect your boiler. Uh, now, and then the, 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 the BMS system, uh, they also operate uh, the fan, uh, just the, the fan motor, and the automatic gas well, uh, the igniter, uh, all these uh, is interconnect with the, the program. Uh. So for hours, uh, uh, um, now for hours, it's just like, you know, in the control panel in front of the boiler, uh, there's a small box there uh, that is uh, a small computer to control the whole thing. Uh, okay. Now the other one in here, it says, uh, by the operator, one status uh, and trouble situation. Now, so when the boiler is running, uh, <clears throat> you look at the front, uh, it we always doesn't tell you too much. Uh, it tell you uh, at the frame signal, uh, how big is the frame signal? Five five point zero volt or something like that. Uh, it tell you a little bit of information. Uh, now, <clears throat> the bigger one, they have lots of other information. Uh, they tell you, you know, how many percentage uh, uh, your your boiler is running. Uh, and the oxygen level, uh, all this kind of stuff is in there. But I will just roll screen, uh, okay? And then uh, the troubleshooting information. So when the boiler trip, uh, they will give you, uh, uh, tell you why it's trip. Uh. Our is not really good. Uh. Our is only uh, a number. Uh. So it said, you know, all lots of time, uh, it said, you know, the uh, 
uh, log out 28. Uh, if you go to log out 28 on the menu, uh, well, I think log out 28 it could be just a frame fail. Uh, because usually anything happen, uh, the frame fail is the first one to shut everything off because it's electronic uh, and faster than anything. Uh. So those one uh, is the uh, troubleshooting information they give you. Uh, so the big boiler, they can pinpoint uh, which compartment, which uh, which thing to shut it off. Uh. Okay. The small one, they just give you a code. Uh. Now, unfortunately, they always had uh, a lot of 28, a lot of 17, uh, so, which is a film fail. Uh. So they do have the, the one status uh, and the troubleshooting information. Now, the types of <coughs> burner management system, uh, the first one, uh, it, it just like uh, this one, uh, it's just like the uh, public, it's just like uh, the furnace at home, uh, really small. Uh, it, the only thing they put at you is a film, film scanner or the film rod uh, or um, some kind of electronic device to sense the film. Uh, so that's the only thing they have. If they cannot see film, shut it off. So that's it. Uh. Now, a little bit. <coughs> Once uh, they put some more thing in this one is called primary control, uh, and then more sophisticated use a computer there that is a programming control, uh, a few different things. Uh. Now the the primary control <coughs> will have all these. Uh, you have the starting starting up uh, and the ignition period, uh, uh, the pilot ignition period, the main period, and the film fail, well, all this one in, in here. Now, I think in there we discussed this one too. Uh, now, let's take a look what is the the time. This is all about the, the primary control. Uh, the, the safe start check. Uh, uh, now, ensure there's no film during the oil or cycle. I don't think we have this. Uh, uh, no. Because uh, once the boiler off, uh, we, we shut the automatic gas well, uh, so there no gas, there shouldn't be any famous, so we don't have this one. Uh, but the big boiler to check and uh, make sure there is no film there. Now, time the ignition period, uh, those, this, those one we have. Okay. Now, <coughs> usually, uh, you give you 10 seconds, uh, give you 10 seconds to do this. Uh, so on the pilot, uh, uh, the CSA 149.3, uh, for the pilot, <coughs> Give you 10 seconds to establish uh, the, the pilot. So if you look at the program chart, I give you or you download from the D2L, uh, you go through the, the high, start the fan uh, and check the limit, right? Check the limit and start the fan. Uh, go through the air proofing switch and the high purge uh, and then a low purge. And then uh, it will, the programmer will tell the pilot uh, cylinder valve to open up uh, and start the igniter. Uh, from that moment on, you have 10 seconds to establish uh, the pilot frame, okay? So it's for any reason, uh, the scanner does not see pilot frame in, in that 10 seconds, uh, it will go to the shutdown procedure, uh, okay? Now, and then after this, you have a pilot frame, uh, and then uh, you have ended the 10 seconds to, for the main frame to come on. Uh, so the sequence is, you establish the pilot film uh, and then uh, the, the, the film fail switch calls, uh, the, the scanner sees film and calls the film fail switch and the uh, computer will tell the SSOV, uh, the automatic as well, to open up uh, and then you have main film. So if this sequence uh, does not happen in 10 seconds, uh, <coughs> you go to the shutdown procedure, okay? Now the film fail uh, response, uh, you only get 10, four seconds. Uh, if you, if your film, you lost a film in four seconds, you should shut it off. Uh, but most, uh, because this one is electronic device, uh, most of the boiler, you know, it doesn't require four seconds. Uh, uh, only one, two, two seconds, something like that. Uh. So this one uh, is a film fail. We do the film fails every time we run lab. Uh, when it, you take out the the, the scanner uh, and cover this with your hand so that no light in there. You come to four, uh, and most of the time, uh, when we come to two, uh, you shut off. So that means the hour is good. Uh, we shut it off so with two, 2.5 seconds, something like that. Uh. So the official requirement, uh, if, you, you, the, if your film it's gone, uh, four seconds, you have to shut it off, okay? Now, those are the interlock uh, circuit, circuitry. Uh, um, the high-low gas pressure cut off and 
Now, this one we do not have it, but we do the, the program. Uh, we uh, combustion air damper in the law, we don't have it, but the way we have the, the air for air proofing switch uh, to do this job, uh, and the low compression air pressure or four. Uh, now, uh, some of the big boiler they have another uh, uh, boiler or furnace pressure, uh, maintain always check for the pressure in the furnace. Uh, if the pressure is lower, they cut it off. Uh, <coughs> no. ah. Ah, always running around. Now, for the low water level, uh, low water boiler level, this one sort of for sure. Uh, and high steam pressure cut off, uh, we have that. Uh, now, the one missing in here is a high water, the high water level cut off. Uh, some of the boiler, it, it does not have a high water level cut off, uh, but we do, uh, we do have a high water cut off. Now, the, the two I, I highlight in here, the low fuel temperature cut off uh, is for oil. Low atomized steam or atomized oil, uh, that is for, for the oil too. Uh, okay, so this one is for the steam boiler. Uh. Now for the, the hot water boiler, so hot water boiler, if the temperature, the water getting too hot, uh, you want to shut it off, uh, you have high temperature cut off. Uh, and low, Two folds uh, switch. This one uh, is very really important uh, because if you if the water is not moving, uh, so the fold is slow, it's not moving, and then the water near the furnace uh, is stale. Uh, you, you're always hitting the same water. It will overheat. Uh, it becomes steam too. That's not what you need. Uh, so low water fold switch. Uh, if you don't have enough fold, shut the boiler off. Uh, and also, they, they have the operating temperature and pressure control. Eh? <clears throat> okay, now, uh, so the program controller, eh? uh, uh, so the, the previous one, eh? all the requirements, the primary control, eh? is the lower level, the program control. So the higher level, eh? the more sophisticated controller, the program controller, eh? on top of this, eh? they <coughs> also have the P A Nixon uh, interlock uh, circuitry. Uh. Now this one is it just say the 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 the, time, the, the limit switch we check. Uh. Okay, do we see this one? Okay, yeah, we have we have that. And have the the temper pool sequence timer uh, and uh, per proofing and then low five position dark. Okay, I at this one, all this uh, to the primary control. Uh. Okay, now let's take a look the. PA Nixon interlock, eh? okay? So, <coughs> so, if you download the, the chart I upload in the D2L, eh, you see eh, when you push the start button, eh, there is a diamond box. Eh? Inside that, we check all the limit switch. Eh? So, that is the PA Nixon interlock. Eh? Okay, now, so those one is a high low, high low uh, pe gas pressure, a eh? uh, high, high low. Uh, Water level eh, and a high pressure cut out. Eh, so, all these is a uh, PE mix interlock. Eh, okay. Now, after this, eh, and then eh, you start the fan. After you start the fan, eh, you have air proofing switch proof air before you can go on. Eh. So, now, periodically, eh, your air proofing switch is not the PE mix, eh, uh, just a P starting the fan uh, interlock. Eh, but the air proofing switch, you can say, is a P ignition interlock eh? because you know, the ignition eh, is when you have frame, eh, right? So, um, the, but the first one, eh, they, they check this eh, it, uh, before the fan starts, eh, not the air proofing switch, okay? Um, now, and then eh, there is another one, it's not the safety switch, but it is uh, it's a permissive. Eh? Permissive is something that had to be Calls uh, engage uh, before you permit to do something. Uh. So in this case, uh, we have another permissive on the boiler starting circuit. Uh, uh, is your operation limit. Uh. Now, lots of time, you know, when you start the boiler, uh, you, you the boiler just keep going. Uh, you you're not using any steam, uh, and it reach 125 psi. Uh, so that is a cut out operation, cut out, uh, okay, and shut your boiler off. Uh. If you don't use any uh, any steam, uh, you stay at 125, uh, you cannot start the boiler because you don't need any steam. Uh. So this one is not the permiss, it's not the uh, limit switch, but it's a permissive. Uh. This one, had you have to need steam first 
before it allowed you to start. Right? So that is the operation limit. It is not the uh, interlock, but it is a permissive. Okay. Now, fixed temper pools, uh, sequential time. Uh, now, on the old days, uh, those are for the program, uh, it lots of, lots of pin and lots of uh, mechanical uh, spring in there. You can easily, you know, adjust the inside. But nowadays, uh, they have a computer there. We have a, a small computer. Now, in order to change the set point, uh, you cannot just go in and change the set point. You have to hook up your computer, uh, just hook up a laptop, stick it into the, the port uh, so that you can communicate with the, the programmer. So that is the pamper pool sequence. Uh, and of course, uh, you have to have the uh, uh, you have to have authorization, uh, just say like you have the password before you allow to change the set point. Uh. Now, most of the time, uh, only chief engineer uh, have the, the set the password. Uh, okay. Now, the first uh, uh, proofing circuit here, uh, now one of the requirements for the for, for the purging uh, is um, you have to have 60% of the air go through there, classified as the, uh, uh, the high purge. Uh. So in this case, uh, um, you have to have a device uh, to check, make sure the sixty percent on the circuit here, yeah? sixty percent of air go through there. Okay, now, and the purge period uh, is this, uh, small boiler. You go through thirty seconds, uh, but the big boiler probably uh, a few minutes. Uh, a bit uh, bigger boiler, it could be you know the, in the sour gas pan. Uh, they purge the thing for an hour before they start up. Uh, okay. Now the low fi starting position. Uh, Okay, now, when you start the, the fire, it had to be uh, on low fire, now, okay? So, it, if done on low fire, if you, you, you start the, the, the burner on low fire, it on high fire, so lots of air go through there, it might blow your, your film off, right? just like starting uh, um, a barbecue on a windy day, uh, you stuck it up and the wind blow it off. Uh, the same situation in the boiler. If you too much air go through that, you stuck it and then you blow it off, uh, and then the, the film scanner see no film and they cut you off. Uh, so you have to start this on a low fi position. Uh. Now, some programmer, the programmer, they they already programmed the thing. Uh, no matter what, doesn't matter. You you set the the mode in automatic or on manual, put the knob to a, to a high fire, you no matter what, they will start the, the boiler on a low fire situation, okay, start it up. Eh? But once it after start up, eh, you will hand over the control for the for the modulator eh, on the mode, the, the mode controller. Eh? So in this case, eh, if you, you put this on automatic and eh, you're in big trouble eh, because once you start on low fire and then you hand over to the, the, the modulator control eh, and then you check, you start the boiler cold, eh, zero PSI, eh, the set point in 100 PSI, eh, the, the, the modulator, take a look, you know, my difference is 100 PSI, eh, we better catch up, eh, you go to a high fire right away eh, and that's not what you want. Eh. You want to gradually bring it up. Eh, Put it for 10%, one for 10 minutes, and then a little bit higher, and go with number. So that is why uh, you never start the, the, the boiler on the automatic. Uh. If you start the, the boiler on automatic, the programmer will start it in low fire situation. And then once it start, uh, it will hand over to the modulator, control the modulator, uh, and then it, it go right to the high fire. So that is a no no. Uh, so make sure. You do not start the, the boiler on the automatic. Okay. Okay, so that is the the chapter. So any concern and, and question about this? Okay. Now if not, uh, we're gonna go take a look at some of the D2 well questions. Okay. Um uh, so so far I haven't um, get any exam question yeah maybe tomorrow i will take a look at some of the old exam question uh, so so you know what they look like yeah okay so let's take a look at so, uh, this one uh. now this one is from last time uh, the film rod okay 
what does the framework, what's the principle operation? Uh? Is the, the framework, the frame rod, uh, okay, uh, I think, yeah. Produce heat, conduct electricity, sends infrared, sends ultraviolet. Uh. Okay, I think somebody, yeah, this one is, that one is good, you know, okay. So far, I get everybody get it right, yeah. Yeah, yeah you're right, yeah. The frame rod, uh, it, they, they conduct electricity, yeah, okay. Conduct electricity, frame rod, okay. Now, the burner management system, P1 combustion system from starting, uh, due to one of the conditions, uh, will, it's just a, it's a, one of them is the interlock, uh, that does not allow your boiler to start. So which one is uh, just, a, one of them, only one of them is the interlock, inter, uh, the, the limit switch. Uh, okay, uh, so far, every, uh, yeah, everybody get it right, uh, okay. Is the this is this is only one uh, low fuel gas pressure is the only interlock that will prevent you to stuck it up. Uh, okay, now so number three, uh, uh prepare airflow pipe to ignition for burner equipment mechanical dry combustion. Uh, uh, so it is a there's a minimum uh, you have to achieve uh, before you set that is a high purge. Uh, uh, I think this one is. The, Okay. okay, now, okay, so the airflow weight uh, had to be, yeah, uh, you are, uh, yeah, yeah, that's good, yeah, so far, everybody get it right, yeah, uh, now it's 60%, huh? 60% of required, it is the, the requirement. Huh? Okay, now let's take a look there. Huh? Number A, huh? <coughs> what's wrong with number A? Okay. Now number A there, the two part of the sentence. Huh? The first part is right, all right? <coughs> when you do the, 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 the purge, huh? you need minimum of five changes of the volume of A inside the furnace. Huh? So the furnace, it refers to the combustion zone, uh, okay? Now, the fuel passage uh, is anything out of the furnace. There's lots of really, really big, uh, maybe even 10 or 20 times bigger the furnace. Uh, so the A is not right because there's a dimension, the fuel passage. Uh, the only requirement, uh, only five change of the combustion zone, that's all the furnace, that's all you need, uh, okay? Okay, now this one, this one is just a definition question, huh? okay? Now, pilot time trial period, how many seconds? And film fail period, huh? how many seconds? So it's a definition, huh? Okay, the first one is, yeah, this one. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think somebody get it right. Both question, right? D C C. Yeah, yeah. The first one, huh, is you have the not minimum of ten seconds. Huh? It's maximum ten seconds. Huh? Maximum ten seconds. So if the pilot f cannot establish yeah, in ten seconds. You have to set the boiler off eh? now. So the film fail, eh? the film scanner, eh? that will be maximum four seconds. Eh? If four seconds, you take it out, cover this, and four seconds, you don't see film, you better set it off. Eh? Most of them, when you set it off on two seconds. Eh? So four seconds is a maximum, eh? okay? Uh, okay, uh, now this one, eh? you have to look, look a little closer, okay? Everybody take a look closer in here. Now, <coughs> this one is just the film, this one, eh? It looks like you ask for something, eh? it's not the, for the big boiler, it's for the small boiler, eh? because the, the simple eh? burner management program, the frame relay eh? or simple uh, system. Now it detects and amplifies the frame signal eh? and then permit something.
Okay. Okay. Now, uh, this one is uh, a little bit too tricky. A little bit tricky. I got this out of the, the data bank. Uh, uh, it it's not very really clear. So those are simple business management. Uh, just say if you see fame, uh, you the 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 answer correct is one uh, is a. Uh, B is the uh, correct answer. Eh? It's the answer given in the data bank. Eh? So if you see him, eh, you will keep, just uh, give energy circuit eh, to the the SSOV, eh, which is the automatic as well. Eh? Keep it open. Eh? So that's what it is. The the reason why uh what they give is that because some of the simple management program eh, they do not help you to start. Eh? So. I think you know, the problem in here is a simple management program. Uh, they don't uh, allow, to say, do, the simple uh, management program, they don't uh, help you to start up. Uh, so, uh, so that is why, you know, yeah, this one. So I would think, you know, you think about it, uh, it should be both of them should be, all, should be the answer. Uh, maybe I'll go in there and modify this question. Uh, but what I think is, uh, even a simple burner management program, eh, they did both. Eh? So I would think either, either B or C, eh, both of them are right answer, I would think so. So I'll, I'll go in and check that. Eh? So one of the functions, eh, you see film, eh, you meet, make it energize. Eh? Okay. <coughs> that is a uh, really we, we not, not really good question. Eh? Yeah. So I have changed this. Eh? Okay. So, so in this case, eh, both B and C, uh, 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 why answer? Okay, so let's go on. Uh. Now, number six, uh, during the program, you start up and ignition spark. So, when you start it up, uh, you go through the high purge, uh, and then you see, go to the back of the boiler, you see the spark, uh, but then no fame, not even the pile of fame. Uh. What is the trouble? Uh? So, you see the spark, but then no fame, uh, no pilot fame. What what is the 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 stuff? What is the problem? Eh? Uh, So you see spark, but no fame. Eh? So that means, though, uh, <clears throat> yeah. uh, okay, now, so again, uh, this one is another controversial question from the data bank. Uh, I, I'm, uh, I'm glad I, I got this out. Uh. Now, so the, the, if you see the spark, but no fame, eh? so that means, though, you get no gain. Yes, go into your <coughs> go in go in the pilot line. Eh? Now, so number C will be the answer, right? Because you the man you found on the pilot line, no somebody calls it, that's eh? so no gas going there, so you get no fame, right? Eh? Now the it could be, right now uh, these uh, this in this situation, uh, it could be a uh, uh, it could be you know the some the the pilot that uh, pilot uh a scene well, not working, uh, so that happened too. Uh. Now, if the film scanner doesn't work, uh, uh, film scanner not the answer because of uh, film reference. So in this situation, uh, that the answer is uh, you get no gas going to there. Uh. So if no gas going to there, number C, uh, the pilot manual well close, uh, that is one answer. Uh. Now, if this one uh, is uh, the main burner, Menu fuel valve it calls, uh, so they're not really here. Uh. Now, if the way it is, uh, number B and C, they are both answer. Uh, but if I change it to uh, near the furnace, if I change it to uh, just uh, uh, that, we have two menu burner valve, right? one at the entrance, very really far end, uh, and one near the furnace. Uh. Now, 
So in this case, uh, the answer will be C. The pilot can as well. No? Now, it's as is, uh, B and C, they're both right, okay? Now, so I'll probably go to change this. Uh, uh, the pilot gets well is coast. That's no, you get no gas. Huh? Okay. okay, number eight. Now, automatic gas pipe boiler shut down during a normal uh, operation running. And the boiler steam pressure below the normal cut out value. The problem could be. So, in this case, uh, uh, your boiler is running already. Okay, all running already. All of a sudden, it dropped. It's a down, eh? so what is the, the, the power? One of them, uh, one of the cause. Eh? Uh, okay, so just remember, you know, the boiler is already running, okay? And then it drops, okay? Uh, okay, I, I think uh, you, you misunderstood the question, right? because it's that normal, during normal running, eh? Uh, it's not during the start up, but it's during normal running. The boiler is already running. Uh, so some of the the, the, the language uh, on the data bank is not very good. Okay. Now, so if the, the boiler is already running, eh, and so that means all, the, the, all those uh, main film trial, uh, pilot film trial, Ignatius from Toma is not a problem eh, because it's already running. The only thing eh, is the high steam pressure limit, which is the fail. Eh? So that is the only thing that causes, eh? because the, the, the boiler is already running. So the answer is number D, eh? high steam pressure limit switch fail. Eh? So because the, the, the limit switch is, is not working, eh? so even in the name we reach the pressure, eh, it drop. Eh? So, that is one, eh? so again, eh, this one is not really, okay. Now this one is a bit easy one. And the last one, <coughs> no. An automatic fire get, uh, boiler. The pilot frame is adequate, but the main burner failed to ignite. Eh? Now the programmer, what the programmer should do? Eh? Now maybe uh, you know, we should discuss. You know what caused this one too? Eh? Let's say we do this one first. Eh? So, uh, so you have pilot frame, and but the boiler does not start. What will you do? Okay. Yeah, so far, uh, <coughs> got, got the answer. They, they, everybody get the right answer. Eh? Okay. Now, so after, if this one happened to you, eh, it, the programmer, it will go to the post purge eh, and sound alarm. Okay. Just a uh, because you any time, any time uh, the pull the the boiler off, uh, it will go to post purge, okay, and sound the alarm. Uh, except one situation, it is power fail. Uh, power fail. There's no no post purge uh, because your motor is off. Uh, no power. So in this case, uh, uh, D is pushes the post purge. A uh, lock out and why sound the alarm? Uh, okay, uh, sound the alarm is not enough. Uh, uh, it does not. D B it does not directly to lock out the boiler. And uh, number one, A, number A eh, is a no-no. Eh? Now, so the only time eh, the boiler shut down eh, and push it to end the start up is if the, uh, the, it's off on the, uh, the operation limit. Eh? If it's on the operation limit, you don't need to reset it. Eh? And then we start it by itself. Eh? But any time, eh, if it's it not on the limit, switch right you have to reset it before you start eh? okay so d is the answer now let's say take a look at another the, uh, question like this uh, now let's say if, if you see the you have enough pilot frame eh? now and but the main burner does not it fail to ignite eh? what 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 are the causes eh? anybody can anybody sub subject a cause you have the pilot frame but the main, main frame does not come on. Eh? So in this case, eh, okay, anybody want to give it a try, suggest or something, uh, will not, the boiler will not start. You see the pilot frame, but there's no main frame. Eh? 
Why? Okay, uh, well, then open. Yeah, I think you, uh, the well, yeah, that I think you are right. Yeah, uh, I think William, I think you're getting right. The well, this is not open. Huh? So that means the auto gas, automatic gas well, we're not open. Huh? You get no gas and then you get no main fame. Huh? Now, in the same deacon, huh? so if somebody forget to open the uh, big man, menu gas well, it will happen too, right? Is also will get no go. Uh. Now, but there's another situation uh, is you see the pilot film uh, and then the trip. It could be the film scanner is broken. Uh. You, get, you see film, but the film scanner did not see it. Uh. You, you see it, but the film scanner did not see it. And then it, it trip, right? Now, there's another situation. Uh, if you go to the program at the chart, uh, uh, now, so after the pilot film um, is that uh, the next step uh, is close the film fail switch and then start the menu get start the automatic gas well right? so the troubleshooting using the chart to troubleshooting right? you will see uh, on on the on the films pilot film that the square DVC film there so anything on about the, that square won't be the problem you look for the immediately after that right? so immediately after the pilot film right? you will close the close the film field switch and then open the automatic gas valve. Uh. So that means it could be, you know, the film scanner could be broken. Uh. It could be your film fail relay is broken. It could be, you know, the the gas valve not opening, uh, it's broken. Uh. It could be somebody just close, forget to open the gas valve. Uh. So that is the, the way, you know, you, you, you troubleshoot. Uh. Now, during the test, uh, it will be uh, a question, a troubleshooting question. Uh, and during the final exam, there will be a troubleshooting uh, a question. Okay. Uh, probably the same question in here, but I, I word it differently. Yeah? So you have to understand before you can do this. Yeah? Make sure you know how to troubleshoot using the chart. Okay. Uh, yeah, we, we are uh, thumbs up. Uh, good. <laughs> uh, you have any question? Uh, about today. Now, if you have any question about today, you can just email me. Yeah? Okay. Okay. I I don't have any cards after this. Yeah? So, uh, if you want, you have any question to discuss, uh, uh, you can uh, stay to to ask. Yeah? Okay. Kev, do we have a date book for test two yet? Yeah, I think it's in the it's already in in the addendum. Uh, on my calendar there, I I mark down a. Uh, uh, April 9, the Friday, uh, is the test two. So now, it, last time we have lots of trouble. Somebody said, no, I, I have left that day, something like that. Uh. So if that's the situation, again, please email me. Uh, or, or if any of you have, cannot make April 9, the Friday, uh, can anybody make the April 9, the Friday? Anybody cannot make the April 9, the Friday? Uh, um, on the Fridays, I have mystery lab at 9 30 a.m okay nice yes so that means yeah, i do as well oh uh, okay so we we probably have to do the same thing as uh the the last time uh, uh okay so in this case uh, you you okay uh, yeah okay okay so somebody is now most likely somebody else will have this. Uh, so I'll, I'll suggest a time uh, uh, to, to do this. Uh. Okay. Um, now, yeah, but we still have tech, we still have lecture on uh, the egg. Uh, so maybe I'll, I'll suggest a time, I don't know, maybe, uh, how about uh, no, uh, uh, noon hour, okay? Or oh, one one p.m. Okay for you. Let me run upstairs to my calendar. Hold on one second. I don't. I don't think so. There's probably twenty of us that have an electrical circuits class from twelve thirty to one thirty. Yeah. Yeah. We have electric class, and then I have another class right after that as well. Yeah. The only thing that might work properly is maybe our Thursday lecture time. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. 
Oh, uh, well, I get, if this is the case, uh, I'll let people why either Thursday or Friday. Either Thursday and Friday. Uh, so make that, that means that I have to to record the lecture and post it. Uh. Okay, let, let's say we will we'll, we'll, we'll do this. Uh, so you can either wait on Thursday and or Friday. Okay. Uh, and then we saw the problem. I'll, I'll VP record the lecture and post on nine. Then that would be chapter four. Eh? Chapter four. It's just about the all the switches. So, um, so if this one works, uh, we we will put it like this. Uh, you can write uh, the exam either Thursday or Friday. How about this? Uh? You think that works? That works for me. Okay. So I'll I'll put our. Uh, um, uh, notes, uh, so if anybody cannot make it, even then, and then you have to make other arrangement. Okay. Okay, again, uh, it's still uh, the same thing, multiple choices, uh, probably a 45 question. Okay. Now, any uh, any question? Kevin? No? Yes? Can you give us um, um, like a sheet of paper of hints for this test? Uh, uh, what's the, the paper? What do you say? Something like a, about, a sheet of hints, like you did for test one. Oh, the hint. Uh, uh, yeah, I will. I, I'm thinking, uh, maybe I, actually, I'm thinking about, no, I can post the question, a couple of questions there, exactly what it is, uh, but would I give you the choice? Uh, maybe I'll do that. It will be fun. Uh. It's just, uh, this question is good. Uh. Now, okay, I'll post something about, you know, about the test. Uh, uh, yeah, probably, you know, during the weekend, and make up something and post it online. Yeah. The the test won't be won't be until the night. Yeah. Okay. So I will do that. Yes. Yeah. So I will give you some hint. Yeah. And so this is a really good question. Huh? It's just a uh, in uh, automatic automatic as well. Right? It's a pilot film. You see the pilot film, huh? but the, the the boiler won't start. What's the cause? Huh? Maybe, maybe I'll I'll put this one on on the test. Huh? And then you know I give <laughs> different choices. Yeah. yeah. So yes, I will do that. Okay. Okay. And any any question? Any more? Okay. Now, if if not any more, we'll we'll end in here. Okay. Thank you very much for for coming. Okay. Tomorrow we chapter three. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.